Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so it's been a few more days between videos than I typically um, like to let slip by, and I do apologize for that. Um, I actually have a new job now. I took a full-time position at a new company, and so I've been in training with that new position. Uh, and so my reading time has sort of been bumped around to, to weird uh, times throughout the day, uh, and I'm still trying to figure out my booktube schedule paired with my reading schedule, paired with my personal schedule to all fit around uh, my new uh, work hours. And so I'm still trying to get that all figured out. And I know that'll sort of naturally sort itself out with uh, repetition. And as uh, time goes by and it becomes more and more of a routine, uh, that stuff will all sort of settle in. Um, so I'm still just trying to figure out the best times to make my videos, best time to uh, film my videos. Obviously, I need to be reading to then be able to make these videos. Um, so all that sort of stuff, I'm just kind of working on figuring out. Uh, but today, I wanted to do a reading update to talk a little bit about what I have been reading this week. Uh, again, it's not as much as I have read in past weeks, but I still have just a little bit to talk about. And so I thought I would go ahead and film a video uh, showing a little bit of what I have been working on reading this week. Um, so it is November, so nonfiction November is here, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, I have followed along with nonfiction November for a couple of years, but this is my first time to participate in uh, nonfiction November as a booktuber, which I'm super excited about. Um, and so I'm going to try, I'm going to try to keep up with it as much as I can. Um, I decided not to follow any of the prompts um, that were offered for this month, and instead just read from my own TBR that I compiled of a lot of the books that I'm trying to get read that are on my shelves that have been sitting in there unread um, and I want to get them you know I want to get them checked off of my list uh, and so the first pick that I went with for nonfiction November is Helen Rappaport's Caught in the Revolution I have shown this one a couple of times I think I showed it in my why well, I, I know I showed it in my nonfiction November uh, TBR but I think it's come up in a book haul as well when I first got it. Um, so I am a big fan of Helen Rappaport. I have read uh, all of her books on Russian history except for this one. So I'm finishing off um, her, her Russian series with this one, which I'm very excited about. Um, so Caught in the Revolution focuses on the wealthy foreign visitors who were stuck in Petrograd at the outbreak of the Bolshevik Revolution. Uh, Petrograd is uh, St. Petersburg. It was renamed uh, to be more Russified because uh, St. Petersburg was felt to be too Germanic. Um, and so obviously during World War I, they wanted something a little bit more nationalistic and patriotic for their citizens. So St. Petersburg was renamed Petrograd. Um, so this is a really interesting look basically at the way the war and the way the revolution trickled up through the classes um, to affect the super wealthy uh, who lived in the city, uh, in, in Petrograd, specifically in the Nevsky Prospect area, which is uh, the, the, the most uh, flamboyant, sort of ostentatious part of the city. Uh, and so it's, it's really a lot of uh, firsthand accounts, a lot of diary entries, a lot of journal entries, a lot of letters, uh, which is fantastic and obviously um, makes the job of, of writing a compelling story um, you know, it ties it all together, having that firsthand experience, which is uh, or that firsthand um, documentation, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, so I'm about a third of the way through this. Um, I'm hoping to have this read sometime by maybe Monday or Tuesday night. Uh, I'm not giving myself a, 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 a cemented deadline uh, just because I'm trying to get my schedule figured out. I don't want to stress over trying to get this finished. I want to enjoy the reading process like I am. Um, and lately, I've actually started slowing down my reading speed on purpose, and um, I have found a lot of benefits, at least for me personally, of kind of slowing down my reading and trying to focus less on the number of books that I read and focus more on the quality of the reading experience and on the amount of information that I retain from each book. Um, I do find that when I kind of slow down and take a, a more measured pace uh, with my reading that I am able to retain more information at the end. Um, and so I do feel, at least for me, that it's more valuable 
to have um, a better reading experience and more of a knowledgeable takeaway than just getting through a book really quickly. That's sort of a new philosophy for me. Um, I'm trying to sort of shift my perspective from focusing on the amount of books that I read and instead focusing on the quality of each reading experience. Um, and especially just sort of as I'm reevaluating my, my schedule, having a full-time job now, which is fantastic. Um, it does just obviously mean that it limits my reading uh, um, to the morning hours and the evening hours and weekends. Uh, and so I'm trying to, you know, sort of uh, rework my reading schedule and by focusing on um, the quality of the reading experience versus the number of books, I'm able to do that a lot more freely. Um, so Helen Rappaport, Caught in the Revolution, is what I'm currently reading for Nonfiction November. Really enjoying this one. I will be doing a review for this one when I finish it, uh, just because it's it's fantastic and it deserves all the attention it can get. Um, and then I am doing, um, I have one other book going, and this is a buddy read with a fellow booktuber uh, and novella. Uh, we are reading Emma together over uh, th uh, through the month of November. Um, so this is my first time reading Emma. I have watched the movie adaptations, and so I, I knew the the basically the the basic plot and characters going into the story. Uh, but obviously, reading the source material has been absolutely fantastic and uh, very enjoyable. So I am um, twenty six percent of the way through, based off of the uh, Kindle prediction. I'm on chapter fifteen. Uh, we're really taking our time with this one as well. We have the whole month of November to read it over, and uh, we don't have any set pacing. We are just um, sort of reading at our own speed and then, um, you know, catching each other up on, on where we are through the process, which is my personal favorite way to do a buddy read is keeping it super relaxed, and that way, you know, neither person starts to feel stressed or pressured uh, if, if the other member passes them in the book. Um I'm really enjoying Emma so far. It, it, it definitely feels uh, very readable. Um, it's not as good, in my personal opinion, as Pride and Prejudice. Um, I think Pride and Prejudice will remain my favorite, uh, my, my favorite Jane Austen novel, um, second to Sense and Sensibility. I'm not sure between those two which one's actually my favorite. I need to reread both one more time, I think, to get that fully set. Um, but I, I love... I love Jane Austen's writing style. It's so entertaining. It's so um, sort of all-encompassing. It's very relaxing reading too. Um, there's just there is just a quality about it that is just really special. And so I'm really enjoying this. Um, so through ne uh, through the the first days of the following week, um, these will be my two books still. Um, and then I'm not sure what will be next on the docket. I think for my nonfiction November, I will probably dive in to either The English and Their History by Robert Tomes or uh, Catherine the Great, um, her biography by Virginia Rounding. So I have to pick between those two, but those are the two that are sort of highest on my attention radar at the moment. Um, so that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, and happy reading.